Today we're going to paint a scent. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to paint the scent of heather in the Scottish Highlands. We're mostly used to have seen paintings of landscapes, people, animals and objects. But there are of course representations of more abstract concepts maybe, like motions, colors. Heck, there are even artists who attempted to illustrate music. So what we are going to focus on today is painting a scent. I myself am a huge perfume lover. I'm very sensitive to scents. I'm never or really rarely leaving the house without spraying something on myself. And even on the rare occasions that I do forget this very essential step in my, in my day, when I have the time, I would turn around and walk back to spray the perfume on. Um, maybe it's just me, don't judge me, but I am really appreciative of scents. They help me get into the right mood for the day, feel comfortable, and I think it really helps me getting the creative process flowing. There are also perfumed candles everywhere in the house. I mean, not crazy everywhere, but like at the entrance and the dining room. So it's really important for my well-being in a, in a way. This is also something that I'm very aware of when hiking or when just walking around. And it actually happened to me on several occasions um, when I was with my dog in the forest, just on a regular dog walk. And I stopped dead in my tracks because I, I caught the scent of a flower that I loved or um, maybe when you come to a place in the forest that is particularly humid maybe or particularly damp or something so it really intensifies um, the scent of earth and bark and um, wild flowers or sometimes just just the grasses and it creates such an amazing smell so whenever that happens to me I do take the time actually and I would just stand there for five minutes taking it all in um, and I think it really helps being in the moment somehow and appreciating the things you do and the things you see and enjoy the places that you are in more. This is probably one of the very few things that I appreciate about the summer. Some of you might already know that I'm not a big fan of high temperatures, um, so summer isn't really the season that I like most in the year, uh, but I'll definitely give the summer this. It is the best season for fantastic scents all around you. Now, how does this translate my creative process or how do they translate to what I do and what I paint? Um, I won't go full Marcel Proust on you, uh, with the whole theory of how scents are so very reminiscent of places and people and special um, times of your life, maybe or special periods of your life. But it is true though, isn't it? Um, how a scent can transport you immediately within literally seconds uh, back into a memory or back into a place where you were in um, or how you felt at that particular moment at some time in your life. So scents for me are really helpful to paint the place where I've been. Um, as I already explained in the previous video, I've never yet finished a painting completely only and exclusively on plein air. So what I was saying is that I would take a photograph of a place when we are on a trip and then paint it uh, when I'm back home or I would start a painting in plein air um, at a particular place and then come home and transfer it to a bigger canvas and really finish everything up. So when you're painting a place where you're not actually at anymore, I personally find that it really helps to think in terms of sense and not only in terms of weather and how the light fell, and you know what the mood was in general and I think capturing that particular mood um, is very much driven by the memory of sense. So in my case for instance when I'm painting a scene of the Scottish Highlands 
Um, I'm thinking about how did the air feel? Was it very crisp? Was it very cold? Did it have some kind of nearly metallic smell to it? You know, in winter when everything is so so crisp and scents are nearly crawling back into into the objects, or on the contrary, was it very hot and was the air filled with the scent of wild flowers or I don't know, was it very damp and did you literally smell um, the scent of damp earth and maybe um, decaying wood or something like that. And it would really help me to remember how I felt and how the mood was on that particular place through scents. So when I found out that Joe Malone was launching a collection entirely dedicated to Scotland, I was so excited. I couldn't wait to find out how they translated um, the Scottish theme into, into their perfumes and how it would smell and um, would it bring back some of the travel memories that I had from when I was in Scotland. So last week I popped into one of Joe Malone's stores in Paris and I got a little something. So basically they launched four different scents if I remember correctly and my husband was so darling as to gift me two of my very favorite scents. One of it was Mallow on the Moor and the other one and that's definitely my personal favorite was Highland Heather. And seriously, I don't know how they managed to do it at uh, Joe Malone, but they are so accurate in all of their scents. The, everything feels so natural. I mean, it's, it's incredible, really. And um, Highland Heather is it, you guys. It really is. I mean, it's not a sponsored video. I wish it was, but... Um, they didn't send me anything, so I don't have to get into the details. I just... I, I'm in love with the scent and not just with the scent but because it's so accurate and because it makes me think of Scotland so much and I'm so very happy to have it here at home. Not only does it bring back those Scottish memories of the trip and everything I've seen but it also will be very helpful in my creative process, the paintings of the Scottish landscapes because Heather is obviously such a big part of it, especially in summer and I mean most of the time when I was in Scotland it was in summer. I mean we went back there once in the winter but mostly we were there through July and August. So yeah, Heather and the scent of it was really a big part of what my memories of Scotland are made of. So I felt it was very fitting for us to do something different today for this little experimentation. Um, I would like to paint the essence of the scent of heather in the Scottish landscape but let's not do it on a canvas this time but on a Jo Malone box. I'm feeling a bit daring so let's try this today. I started with protecting the logo from paint with masking tape in order to accentuate the decorative aspect. To stress the decorative characteristics even further I use gouache paint and not oils for this project. The scent of heather is fresh and warm at the same time and I wanted to reflect it in the choice of complementary contrasting colors of burnt orange in the ground and the blue of the sky as well as the violet of the mountains and the heather versus the yellow in the clouds and the sun. The scent manifests itself the best in damp weather and direct sunlight when it becomes part of the smell of the air. I translated these conditions through the vibrance of the colors in the landscape. Finally, I wanted to show its presence with a profusion of the purple of the heather both in the foreground where you can distinguish the individual bushes and in the whole mountain. 
the scent and color of heather really take over the landscape of the highlands. Once the colors have dried down, I tear out the masking tape to reveal the logo. And voila the final result! If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or drop a purple heart in the comments. And also consider subscribing, it would help this channel a lot. Thanks so much for watching and I see you in my next video. Cheers!